Today we're going to show you a quick and easy way to clean your Speed Queen commercial dryer. So the th first thing you always want to do with your Speed uh, Queen dryer is clean this little doohickey out here. This is the uh, lint trap. Um, besides cleaning this out, the first thing you want to do is take this screw off. I did this already, so I'm not going to show you. And this pops right out, and you can just vacuum, vacuum inside there. That's uh, that's the easy part. The hard part is cleaning or inspecting whether there's lint outside of your uh, the dryer drum, the thing that goes all the way around. So let's see what happens. The next step is to take the bottom panel off. Uh, forgive me if the washing machine is uh, making too much noise here. I hope not. Um, but so you need a seven six. I'm sorry, five sixteenths inch. And I'm using a uh, a ratchet wrench, but you can use a screwdriver uh, or whatever. I like this because of the long handle. So you take these bottom two screws out. Now this is just to inspect, and you should really unplug the dryer before doing this. And I'm going to do that right now after I take this first screw out. It comes out real easy. Unplug the dryer. It's probably still charged up, but I'm still just gonna take these two pieces off. It comes off real easy. So let's see what happens here. Now you'll know right away. Has a nice little hint, hinge, hinge there. And as I can see here. Definitely some lint in here. Not a lot. Not a tremendous amount. I should get my flashlight. It's LED, so it's gonna look a little uh as you can see it's not so bad. I have a little uh a little battery operated. But you wanna clean if you really want to go nuts, you can take the whole panel off, but you can tell from from the bottom here, Amazon uh, tripods are the worst. They're like five bucks, they suck. But anyway, as you can see, I'm just gonna just get whatever's in there out. But that's that's just all you really need to do. If you um, really need to take the whole thing off, there's a way to do it. There's clips under here. You just you gotta yank. Take the top off and then you could take there's a, probably two screws here and this thing comes right right off but the most important thing is to inspect whether there is a lint problem we don't have a lint problem so that's how you do it it's, it's pretty simple I'm gonna vacuum it out now and uh, call it a day easy as pie Putting the, the cover back on is really easy. Uh, they make it easy because they have two little notches in this hinge. You just it goes in like almost any more do it. Slide it and there it goes. And you can put your screws in and tighten it. That'll be that. One of the things that I think um, most homeowners should consider is situating your dryer as close to the output of the house the vent outside as possible we moved our dryer um, from one side of the uh, basement to to the other uh, so that we could have the shortest possible duct uh, exhaust uh, the less turns and uh, twisting you have for your for your uh, vent the better so this this is just a good idea very good idea and that's how we did it